Hi hi, Kaycock here. We're back. Um, I just killed the dragon. And if you did what I did, you got five dragon hearts. Uh, big fucking deal. We now have six, uh, which can get us a lot of uh, dragon incantations. We have the left Dectus Medallion, we have two Storm Sword Keys, and two Memory Slots, Flasks, yada 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 yada. But most importantly, we got 99,000 souls. Uh, I don't remember how much we had before, but I think you get around 96,000, so we probably had like 3,000 or something before I killed it. With the gold pickled foul foot. Now, what we're gonna do, it's the biggest deal in the world, is vigor. We can get our health from 680 to 1080 right now if we wanted to. As much as I want to do that, um, <clears throat> this is where it gets tricky. Do we pop our stuff into Faith and Arcane to use Dragon Spells? Which just got buffed this patch, by the way. Or do we keep going with Strength? Or do we keep going with Vigor? Or pop our Endurance? I'm unsure. I'm honestly unsure right now. Um, I almost want Arcane. I think 13 is the... Here, let's uh, cancel leveling up. Let's remember our spell. Oh, we can. <clears throat> what we can do is go all the way to that little island way here with the Church of Dragon Communion, and we can look at what we can buy. at best right now we can only get three but as I was saying 15 faith 12 arcane 17 faith 13 arcane 24 faith 16 arcane and they only get more from there I think the highest is like 17 arcane and like 30 something 31 or 33 faith so we're gonna need a lot of faith if we want to use that <clears throat> Why is there a... Oh, I'm wrong. Okay. So, what to do, what to do. It's never wrong to level up Vigor. Never. Until you get hit like 60, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it was 15 and like 13, so we're so close. We're so close. But we can't use it yet. So I think uh, we're really just going to have to go with uh, Vigor. We can pop it into Arcane a little bit if we want. 999. We can do Dexterity too. That's going to let us use a little bit more weapons. It's, uh, it's tough. It's tough. Let's just go with a, a quality build. I guess we're going to do a quality build. We have OK Endurance. We have OK Vigor. We have actually really good Vigor. We have OK Mind. OK Endurance. Good Strength. Uh, OK Dexterity. And not really anything in Intelligence, Faith, or Arcane that we can actually use. So Let's do 26 Vigor, actually. And we're going to do 16 Dexterity, because that's what a lot of weapons use is 16. A lot of them are 18. There's 20s as well. But we can pop one into Faith, which will let us heal. And we can... God, see, I just... Hmm. 
let's just do Vigor. We'll do 16 decks just to, uh, it's going to help our armaments. If you can see attack power in the bottom middle, it's going to increase our armament one from 140 to 142, and that's not even with upgrading the weapon, that's just our stats. So it's already good, it's already better. <sighs> Yeah. Okay, let's just do it. Let's do it. We can respect later, so it's not like a we're stuck here. It's not a big deal. It's, it's no biggie. But what I want to do is let's equip our Zvihander plus three again. We can now. Wait. Okay, it's not as much as I wanted, but now we can at least equip our chest. Without a heavy load. Okay. Like I said, we'll be able to redo it later, but now that we've done that, we're going to go back to Fort Faroth. And this is very important because uh, we're going to get a very important talisman, which health is awesome. It is. Health is awesome. You need the health. You need it. The vigor is vital. However, the talisman we're about to get is going to increase vigor by 5, endurance by 5, strength by 5, and dexterity by 5. So, now that I think about it, we really didn't need to... Uh, get dexterity up that much so that's okay it's okay like I said we'll be able to respect soon not right now but soon we could beeline it for the respect boss but uh it's not really worth it so we need to ru just run run through Fort Froth just like that that uh, specter was doing Hopefully we don't get poisoned. Uh, okay. It's close. Close, close, close. And the reason we did all this is because this is where the second half of the deck to spindling is a big fucking deal. I'm pretty sure I'm getting sick, by the way, so bear with me. I'm going to be sniffling and doing whatever. Get the Dectus Medallion, just run. Run, run, run. Make a right at this little hole here. Once you get into the hole, there's going to be a rat. That rat's going to fuck us up. But we have a bunch of health. Thank God. Find this little area, and we'll be able to uh, avoid the rat. Essentially. So, once you get here, turn. And there's going to be rats and they will one shot <laughs> god damn nodes I don't know if it's allergies or I'm actually getting sick but it's been bad I just sneezed like 50 times in a row before I started the stream so just saying bear with me anywho uh we got the rune. It's a plus 12. It's a 12 rune, which is going to give us, like, I think 7,500 souls, which uh, won't level us up now that we've done the dragon twice. However, um, it's going to help us level up weapons or level up whatever we need. So that's awesome. Okay, Grey Old's Dragon Barrow. Let's try this again. We want, we need, I shouldn't say we want, we need that talisman. And a video can't upload. Awesome. Oh, don't poison us, please. Please, please, please. So we got that medallion. We'll drop off right. Run straight, avoid the people, we pretty much expect to die and that's okay. 
jump through. Roam around and drop down. This is important because we're going to get the Radagon Sorcerer. If you can, and not die, go back up the ladder and you'll live. I like to crouch to make it go faster if I can. And just go right back out immediately before you get attacked and die. So we saved our 3,000 whatever folds. No big deal. It's all good. It's all good. <clears throat> it's all good. All Gucci. Anyways, let's look at our talisman. So we're going to have to take uh, the enhanced charge attack the talisman off. Because look at that. <clears throat> we went from 28 vigor to 33, 15 endurance to 20, 20 strength to 25, and dexterity 16 to 21. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. It's, uh, it says greatly raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. The damage taken is fucking minimal. So we can now equip our uh, Night Graves, and probably, yeah. So now we have like a full set. And look at that. We can't do the Godric Knight Helm, but we can do our Vagamon Helm. So the set we started with that we're fat rolling with, we can now use a bow, a Zweihander, a torch, and the full set. Insane. Fucking awesome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And our health, look how much our health went up. That's five points of vigor. Five. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You can see the obelisk over here with the health, uh, or with the map, sorry, the map's right here. If you want to get this entire section mapped off, then go ahead. Um, we don't have a great weapon to upgrade Somber yet, except for this one, which, uh, it's good, but it's not great. I'm not too big of a fan of it. I know a lot of people are. You can. This is a somber smithing stone weapon as well. Like I said, uh, I I'm a fan, but I'm not like crazy about it. Um, I don't know about this one, honestly. I really don't. It's a halberd, apparently. It, uh, let's see, how do we compare? Compare, there we go. <clears throat> so it's, um, a little bit weaker, but it's not even leveled up. It's lighter. Um, instead of stamp, it has a spinning slash. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty decent. Let's try it. Let's try it out. So that's it's R1. It's R2. It's the same thing, just uh, modified. This is its two hand R1. And its two hand R2 is the same thing, it's just. Well, it has a different R2. Okay, let me two hand it. But it's a lot lighter. And we can use a shield, and we're still gonna medium roll. So. I think we're gonna go with this. We're gonna try it out. It's gold too. I like gold. We still have uh, quite a bit of runes, and we have a lot of runes to use, so um, that's awesome. So let's dip out of here since we already did that. Um, what we're gonna do next is, well, let's see actually. Oops, oops, sorry. Uh, we have 11. We need one more. One fucking more to level it up again. And that's only if it takes smithing stone. So let's try it out. Let's see what it's all about.
So once you're at round table hold, uh, we're gonna well, upgrade it. We'll see if we can out. upgrade it. Yep, it's smithing stones, so we need one fucking more. And then we're gonna try it out. We're gonna test it out. Let's see. 155 and 33, so 188 versus one or 215. So 188 versus, but it's much lighter, keep that in mind. We can have a shield and still use it. Let's try it. So down here there's an enemy that will spawn. And we get the reverential bow. We have so much health that it's no big deal. It does that mist thing. So you gotta be careful with this guy, he does bleed and he does um... Frost, so big fucking deal. Man, this thing's pretty short, huh? Oh, so the running attack is a stab move, that's kinda cool. So we can just do that over and over. That's fun. <sighs> I'm not a fan though. Honestly. Let's try this sword back out again. A dick. I'm not being to stagger him. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, we've used up our flasks. So is he. We can pretty much get a free two shot off, apparently. Shouldn't have much MP left. There we go. Okay. So, I'm not a big fan of the um, Guardian Spear, Sword Spear. It's, uh, it's just, it's not that good, and that's fine. But if you run over here, after we defeat that guy, I will show you what it does. However, we want the Cypher Pata. Pata. Pata, Cypher Pata, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it's a Faith Fist weapon, so it's pretty good. Apparently. I don't know, I've never used it. Return to entrance, and it's gonna put you back up on the balcony we jumped off of. So we tried our two weapons. Um, that invader is usually more difficult than not for some reason. We did it earlier than later, I think. But, um, yeah. So we're back on the balcony. And I'm pretty content with, um, the sword. So we're going to keep using it. It's already 
plus three anyways, so. <clears throat> anyways, um. This is the tricky part. Do we go through here? Or do we go north into Lunaria the Lakes? I think we should go here. Um. Hmm. I didn't see the girl at uh, the round table hold, so she hasn't warped there yet. Since we're coming back here, she should have warped. Sometimes you need to unlock some dialogue or wait some time or kill some bosses, right? But she's still there. When she's gone, she'll drop a golden seed. So let's try our best up market here. So run up. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Run up. You can get this and not get hit if you go around. Wild strikes. We get the Ash of War by killing that square. If you go around and just up the forest and behind the ballista, you don't have to deal with anyone from the ballista team. Now let's try our uh... Another fucking circuit. Awesome. Anyways. Once we uh, get the side of Gracie, we'll be able to see um, where we're at. Get the um, summoning pool. And this is a optional character you can get. He is an NPC, so don't feel bad. You're not using a real person. If you want to use a real person, we just have to pop our little furled finger. Furl calling finger thing. Thingy. Whatever. Anyways, uh, we were here. We went around the little thing, and we're at the Castle Ward Tunnel. <clears throat> Um, I will meet you in the next episode. We're going to try this boss out. If we don't kill it, we're going to move on. If we kill it first try, then awesome. Um, even if we kill it, we're not going to do the castle yet anyways. We just really want it. Oh, look at that. We might as well try it now. Got some help. That's awesome. For the sake of killing it or not killing it, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> By the way, for great ultra great swords or in colossal great swords, great swords, whatever, if you're locked on, you're gonna go towards that person. But if you're not locked on, if I hold back, I can aim where I want my sword to go. And you can do that at a 360 degree angle. So if I'm going straight, I can go left. I can go right, and I can go completely backwards. Hi. Hey. Oh, look at all the summon signs now. Awesome. Anyways, doesn't matter. There should be a lot of people to help you here. Watch the video if you want. Um, do too well. Keep your guard up. L1, right? We should have enough, um... 
health and flasks, honestly, to uh, be able to do this fight. moves. Um, I find it easier to um, parry him, but uh, we're not doing a parry move, so. It's a lot easier to get help in this game. And this, uh, well, look at that. When you invite someone into your world, they have double the health too. Keep that in mind. You need to learn his moveset. What I wanted, oh, okay. Well, we'll do it alone. <laughs> wow, we had four flasks left. We had full, almost full health, and we got hit off the fucking edge. Welcome to From Soft Games. Anyways, I will be back in the next episode, and we will kill Margaret without a summon, because it's going to be twice as easy. It's going to be all on you. However, it's going to be. He's going to have half the health. Everyone you summon, he gets another half of... He gets another, like, full health bar, pretty much. So there's two of you, sure, but um, he has double the health. If, if there's three of you, he has triple the health, and so on and so forth. So I will see you guys in the next episode. This is KCOG, uh, Beginner's Guide. Um, we will continue.